Hey everyone and welcome to the Back 40 Feet where we talk about suburban, urban, and patio gardening. And today's project is I'm going to be harvesting my jalapeno peppers. Uh, it's harvest time here at the Back 40. Uh, so when you're looking at your jalapeno peppers, you pretty much can harvest them whenever you need them. Uh, when they're green, if you keep them on the vine or the plant longer, they will eventually start to turn red. Here in New England, we have a pretty short season, so it takes a lot for them to actually start to turn red. Once the weather gets cooler, sometimes you'll start to see a darkening of the jalapeno pepper skins um, that they'll almost look like a black color or a dark purple, and that's that it's just starting to get cold, but it really doesn't impact the pepper, just the, the visual appeal of the pepper. So those are some things you're going to look for. The other thing that you can see is that if you let your pepper get overripe, you'll start to see almost like a cracking in the skin, um, and then at that point it just starts to get on the tougher side. So you want to pick your peppers before they start getting that cracking, streaking appearance in the skin. When I'm picking jalapeno peppers or my serrano peppers or the hot St. Nick peppers, I always have gloves on. You just never know if you're going to get any of the pepper juice um, on your hands and then it can really either burn your skin or what happens more often than not is you forget that you have pepper juice on your hands and then you rub your face. Now it's in your eyes, in your mouth, in your nose, and you're not a happy camper. So always wear gloves when you're harvesting your hot peppers. Here are my pepper plants, and you can see in here, here's my jalapeno peppers. I'm going to put my gloves on in a minute, but you can see that I've got quite a harvest in there. But you'll also notice that there's really no flowers on this plant. And that's because when the pepper plants have fruit, they no longer need to make flowers to reproduce some more. So once I pick these, I am going to expect to start to see some flowers appearing on my peppers and I should be able to get a second harvest. I've come over here to my Serrano chilies. Um, so here you can see that these are a lot smaller than the jalapeno peppers that's intended. So these are your classic green chilies that you might see in the store. And I can see down here there's one that's already turned red. These aren't um, these you don't have to necessarily wait until they get red, that just means that one's really ripe. So I'm looking at the status of these and seeing that I don't have any flowers, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick these and process them along with my jalapeno peppers. So here is my pepper harvest. I got a little bit, um, a bit over a dozen. So this variety is called La Bamba and uh, perfect for a jalapeno popper, a good size uh, pepper, nice and shiny, and then on this side it's called Early Jalapeno, so these are really designed for areas with short season and have been ready for a while, and if I look at one of these, you can start to see, I don't know if you can see that in this light, that it's starting to have some cracks in the skin. So this is just slightly starting to turn past ripe, so I think I got them just in time. Here are my serrano peppers, and here with the rest of my jalapeno peppers, um, and it looks like a hot basket of peppers. <laughs> 